uh, hi students uh, <coughs> I upload a video for you in course uh, content and uh, what I will do actually I will create a YouTube channel I already actually created a YouTube channel where I'm gonna upload all the uh, videos for our uh, classes and I will make sure that all the videos that I will record it's not gonna be uh, above uh, seven or eight minutes so you can uh, download it easily or if you want to watch it through the YouTube you can watch it uh, easily all right so uh, let me remind you of something last time uh, in last video that uh, we discuss and talk about it was if you don't have a laptop or a desktop it's okay I I believe that most of you have a smartphone, either an Android or uh, or OS X, uh, the Apple. If you have the iPhone, if you have if you have it, you just can enter uh, the store and you can uh, type uh, the uh, C offline coding or C coding, and it will give you. Uh, and uh, like uh, a variety of uh, in, uh, apps and you can choose one of them it doesn't matter actually if someone doesn't work if the compiler doesn't work or if it doesn't run the program you can either way delete the program the, the apps and download another apps which can uh, work for you if you have uh, a laptop it's easy as well you can go and download the code block for uh, free all right that's what I wanted to tell you so you don't have any excuse to write a program to run a program because uh, and I check I when I sent you the problem set I find out that most of the of uh, 55 students they already submit the assignment so uh, the final submission of the assignments I will also write it for you in in uh, in, uh, in the blackboard the final uh, submission of the uh, assignments will be on the 16th of April 16th of April I need all of you to submit the uh, problem sets the assignments that I have uh, give it to you so we can move forward and I give you assignment uh, three all right so uh, in case in case that you guys want me to go uh, uh, through uh, the assignments I will go through the assignments as well and I will take the questions one by one which we solve it I remember actually we solve it but okay I will uh, try to solve it, resolve it uh, for you again. So you, you can submit it on the 16th of, uh, of April. All right. The first problem, it's the right program that use, uh, we can use in this program. If you see, it's like he asks you a program. You can see here, he asks you a program should request a number from the user and print the day in word accordingly the day that we want the first day of the week Monday until to print until Wednesday all right so in the first case in the problem it doesn't matter you can use the if statement you can use the for loop it's okay in in I'm talking about a in the in B I was specific that I ask you to repeat or rewrite the program using the if statement instead of switch i'm sorry i'm sorry that the first one as he asked us to use a switch and the second one it's the if statement which means that the a a will be using a switch we will use a switch in a and in b we will use the uh, the if statements all right okay so a it's using a switch we have it in the tutorial we solve a similar question like that and also B it's using the F statements all right okay 
I believe that we solve uh, problem A in, in that tutorial. Now we will go through the problem B. Write a program in C to find a sum, the sum of all elements of array, which means that he wants us to find the sum of the all elements of the array. How are we going to do that? It's uh, easy, it's uh, super easy, and we solve in the, during the class uh, uh, before uh, this long recess, we solve a similar question like that. If you remember, actually, I told you there's a two type of when we're writing a program, even if we're writing the array, either it's a run or a compile, which either we have, we have uh, the elements, we have uh, the values, or if we don't have the values we have to suggest and come with the values all right so now this is the values actually i su i suggested as a hundred integer first of all print f the sum of all the elements and print the input number of the element to store and then we scan the number that's uh, that we store in the in the memory all right no okay now we will print the input of the elements for i it's equal zero i less than n i plus plus again we print the element and we scan if you see here we scan the element all right this is this part we use this part in each each and uh, four loops that we using now the last part is like it's the four the i uh, equal uh, zero i it's less than n i plus plus the sum of the a1 so it's going to take all the numbers that from one to hundred but if it exceed 100, let's say 101 or 102, it will come back again and it will rotate and irritate to from 1 to 100. And then we print the sum of the all elements. The second question, it's write a program to print all the negative elements in array. We will do the similar thing of the previous questions we will do the similar things of the previous questions but the last thing the last thing that we should do how to define the element how do we define the negative bot if the current array element is the negative which means that the array it's less than zero so all the numbers that less than zero the array we it will take it at all all right first of all it's a similar question it's the similar things first of all we indicate we put the input of the array the input uh, elements in the array we print we scan we we scan actually first of all for the to secure a place in the memory then we scan the the arguments that we have which is the it is the ARRI, and then the ARRI, it's, it's, it's what? It's less than zero, which it will take the, all the number that less than zero. The last question, it's going to be for you. You will solve it, and it's write a C program to find the maximum and minimum, minimum elements in an array. It's a similar thing that we use. We solve this question during the class. We solve the questions um, uh, during our previous classes. If you remember in the if statement, if we, if you also remember before the if statement. But, but I need you to solve this question. So let's let's agree on this. I need all those questions to be submitted by. Uh, hopefully by uh, 16th of uh, this uh, month, 16th of April. Thank you very much.